What will your first flying taxi trip look like? The UK has simulated one such experience. British analysts believe electric flying taxis could become normal in the UK within 15 years. But 15 years is a long time. In India, you may not have to wait for that long. That's right. One airline is planning to bring air taxis as early as 2026. With this year coming to an end, astrologers and scientists are busy predicting the future, what lies ahead, the future of transport. Enter flying taxis. Promoters of the Indigo airline, Interglobe Enterprises, have entered into an agreement with an American startup to bring flying taxis to India. This American startup is called Archer Aviation. It has a flying taxi model called Midnight. It can carry four people plus a pilot. The taxis take off and land vertically. The San Jose-based startup is backed by Boeing and United Airlines. Indigo's parent company is reportedly planning to get at least 200 midnight taxis to begin with. They will be launched in Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru. Now, just tell me one thing. How will these taxi or taxis operate alongside the existing commercial planes? Won't their paths collide? What about the radio frequency? With so many taxis and planes in the air, won't frequencies be jammed? And this is where the recent developments in the UK become a whole lot interesting. Last week, the UK carried out live simulation of flying taxis. The taxi flew from Bristol Airport to London City in real time and it did not interfere with the commercial flight operations. How exactly? NATS, NATS or what was formerly UK's National Air Traffic Services is coming up with a new technology. They are designing an app-based platform where air taxi operators can file their flight plan. The plan will then either be amended and approved, and once that's done, the pilot can take off. Unlike in a commercial aircraft, pilots operating air taxis will not need to physically talk to the air traffic control. The app will ensure that the flying taxi's path is clear. Obviously, all the eggs will not be put in the technologies basket. There will be designated airspace managers who will be monitoring all the activities. So how long before you actually get to hitch a ride in one of these flying taxis? Well, tests have already been carried out in various countries. In fact, uh, also in Singapore, China. China's E-Hang has two-seater electric aircraft and it's planning to launch commercial operations soon. A company called Joby Aviation plans to make flying taxis a reality in the US and Australia in 2024 itself. Germany-based Volocopter wants to bring air taxis to Paris next year. The trend is more or less likely to be in line with what's happening in India. Flying taxis would first be adopted by the existing airlines. They will keep fleets of flying taxis to ferry first-class passengers. We told you about Indigo. Virgin Atlantic also has ordered up to 150 flying taxis. American Airlines, 350. Each of these taxis costing upwards of $3 million or 24 crore rupees. How much will a ride cost, you ask? A 30-minute trip could cost around $60 or upwards of 5,000 rupees. The price will fall with time and within a decade or more, analysts expect the air taxis to become affordable and accessible to more people. At one point, air taxis are predicted to become a threat to conventional taxis, in fact. But that is over a decade into the future. We are still waiting to spot the concept from our windows. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.